What's up guys, Vital Syntax here, and welcome to my playthrough, walkthrough, let's play, whatever you want to call it, for Crisis 3. I will be doing tons of videos on the multiplayer as well, if you guys are interested in that, make sure to check out some of the other videos on the channel, or subscribe. We're going to be playing from the very beginning on probably just the normal setting, um, and I'm playing on the highest graphic settings on a GTX 680, AI7, if you want to see the full uh, spec uh, specifications of my PC. Then you can go to my channel and look at the sidebar. I have them all listed there um, for your convenience. So we're going to go to campaign, new campaign. Uh, you can see they do have four difficulties here. We're just going to go with uh, soldier, which is kind of the default one. So we're going to start a brand new one, and we're not going to do the tutorial. Um, I did try the tutorial, ago, and it was very basic, so I'm just going to skip it. invaded our world. We stopped them. I stopped them. But the Cell Corporation seized the opportunity, stepping into the power vacuum, quickly growing in size and influence to the brink of world domination. Cell took us all by surprise. Even me. They call me Prophet. And I'm the only one who knows what's coming. Cell are not the real threat to our world. The most powerful alien, the Alpha Seth, still lives. He showed me a glimpse of the future. He knows what drives me, what I believe. That being a good soldier comes down to one thing, to one single question. What are you prepared to sacrifice? Remember me. When they came to me with the nano suit, I sacrificed Lawrence Barnes, the man I was, to become prophet. When my own flesh and blood held me back, I sacrificed that too. Replaced it like a spare part. Victory costs. Every time you pay a little more. I saw a glimpse of what's coming. And there was nothing left of me to stop it. When the greatest combat machine fails, what do we do then? What do I do? Oh, it looks so badass. The Alpha Ceph. I hope there's like boss fights and stuff. It kind of looked like that from the trailers, but I'm not really sure. Cell 5 LCS, this is Hunter 3. Be advised, we picked up rebel movements through Dome West 33rd Sanitary. Probably nothing, but stay frosty. That son of a bitch you got is hella dangerous, over. Roger that, Hunter 3. We got it covered. Nothing getting on this boat tonight, over. So you can see the cell units here, they are like the privatized military uh, bad guys in the game. So I did play Crisis 1 and Crisis 2, but not recently. It was, you know, a couple years ago, so... Um, I really enjoyed both of those games, but the storyline was lacking a, a bit. Um, so I'm really looking forward to what they're doing with... Uh, Crisis 3. Extraction is a go. Bring it home. So I believe this is Psycho. Um, and he was in the first game, I believe, with, uh, with Prophet, and he had a nano suit as well.
but he's he's a good guy, obviously. So. Suit now. All right, looks like we're about to load up here. Yep. Here, take my backup. Day three to come out. So, like I said, I'm playing on max settings here at 1080p, including AA, and this this game is just destroying my computer. Um, I'm getting about anywhere from 30 frame. It's a little bit of it's a definitely above 30, but below 45. Um, which is just crazy. I'm sure if you had the AA down and some of the uh, the uh, post processing up or down, you might get a little bit better frame rate, but. Uh, Definitely a very <laughs> demanding game. Guys who tore the nano suit from my flesh, the guys who were gonna do the same to you, sell those guys. Oh, forget it. The game looks absolutely amazing at this point. I mean, I'm more excited to look at the. Oh, just look how like detailed all this metal is. I'm, I'm more excited to get into some vegetation just because can't have crisis without a jungle. Just a quick overview of the area. Absolutely amazing. So I can do the uh, attachments here. I'm gonna go ahead and throw a laser sight. Yeah, you can kind of see it very faintly there. And then it looks like I've also got oh explosive ammo. That's sick. I obviously don't have any of that right now, but you can see it even goes into the caliber. There's a silencer on there. Sick. Oh, that's interesting. So you don't have iron sights if you have the uh, the uh, laser salt. I'm going to take that off. I'd rather have iron sights than that thing. Walking straight through the front door. Surprise is going to be our only chance. No one's crazy enough to give this a go. Let's do this quietly. We've got QRF teams on standby. Okay, let's see if I can melee this guy. Yeah. Let me uh, quickly, just because I'll forget to in the future, change my. Um, Controls here. Keyboard. While I'm in here, I can show you guys some of the, the, the just the uh, settings and options that you can mess around with. So combat, you know, selecting grenades, melee. We're gonna go ahead and throw that onto my mouse key. And you've also got all the nano suit stuff like toggle visor B, nano vision. Here, I'll show you that real fast. Uh, yeah. So this is like a thermal type of vision which just looks really cool and then B throws up this uh, kind of visor that allows you to mark stuff we'll, we'll probably get to that a little more in the video or later
The guy sounds super so. Oh. Firing. Got a man down. Oops. <laughs> I guess we're going in. Guns blazing. That's the awesome thing about this game, you can just play it however the hell you want. Let's see if we can grab a weapon here. Feline. Quickly, uh. Draw a silencer. So, just like in the previous game, you have, uh. Armor and stealth. And. It's interesting because if you look down at the bottom right corner of your screen, you'll see I just have one energy bar. Um, but in the multiplayer, you have two energy bars. You have an energy bar for uh, stealth and one separate for armor. So they've kind of balanced it out that way, but I guess they're going for the simplicity approach for the, uh, the single player here. Because your stealth and armor both use the same energy. Which I'm totally fine with. Alright, looks like I can do select fire. That's interesting as well because you, I, I'm, I'm able to switch between single fire and, and full auto, which in, in Crisis 2 is actually a, um, it was an attachment, so now you don't have to wait ways to slot uh, just to, to do that. Looks like there might soon be some different routes you can take here. Yeah. Let's take this guy with the pistol. <laughs> okay, so it seems like if you have the silencer on, you don't break stealth either. Don't think that's how it works in multiplayer, but could be wrong. Oops. The attention to detail in the map design is just insane. Oh, nice. You can still pick up a bunch of shit and throw it. I guess you could use that as a distraction or something, but. That was a bit messy. Maybe you need this. Yeah. <laughs> Predator bow. Yeah. Makes you an invisible, silent killing machine. Serious kitness. You like it? No. <laughs> well, that's because you haven't heard the good part. Carbon lasers map that bow to your nano suit. It has enough kinetic energy to stop a rhino dead. With interchangeable heads, you can drop an explosive charge on any target. And best of all, you stay cloaked. You like it now? I'm coming around. <laughs> good. Now let's move out. The character modeling and animation on, on Saiga was insane. I don't know if you guys could see his, his facial animation while he's talking, but it's like uh, incredibly realistic. Alright, so I'm going to try and take the stealth approach, and if, if, if it fails, we'll... We'll move on to uh, a run and gun approach. Hopefully, this predator bow should help me stay in cloak. I don't know if you can pick up bodies. Let's see. No, it doesn't look like it. Looks like it just gives you the option to pick up his gun. Now when you're using stealth, you want to move as slowly as possible. I mean, it kind of depends on your situation, but moving faster uh, does make you drain energy faster. So, if you want it to last longest, then you usually want to uh, um, crouch around the map. Or Oh, sweet, I just picked up an arrow. I think. I think you can pick up the arrows if you just walk over it. Yeah, you definitely pick up arrows because I just went back up to eight. Yeah. 
Dude, this bow is sick. I, I think they changed the draw speed. Feels like it draws a little bit faster. Let's check out the uh, attachments here. So I do have some some extra ammunition. Burst frag tip, electric charge tip, thermite tip. We've also got draw weight. This is interesting. Oh. Hello? <laughs> Alright, let's do this in cloak. Um, I've got draw weight, so medium draw weight. You can say standard draw weight, standard damage. This is increased, or no, reduced damage, quicker draw speed, and strong draw. We're gonna try the strong draw weight. I've heard that you can uh, actually like uh, push enemies like onto walls and stuff that are behind them. So we'll see how that works. Seems like you move faster as well. When you have it drawn. Oh! Sick. Yeah, see, I mean, I guess he's just stuck into this little tarp thing behind him, but. If there was a wall, I think it probably would have knocked him, locked him onto it like this guy. Let's try it. This guy's completely oblivious. Oh, no, that's my teammate! Sorry! <laughs> Oops. Um. Oh, there he is. Oh! See, there's quite a bit of verticality on this this, uh, this map so far, which is awesome. That's something I know that they've been working on is, at least in the in the single players, adding you know different a lot of different uh, vertical levels that you can play around with. I think overall they were kind of just trying to go for a more uh, not completely open world like we had in Crisis One, but at least a little bit more than what we had in Crisis Two, which is. Definitely a good thing. Press B. Okay. Oh, yeah, the hacking thing. Okay, this is cool. Press F to lock. Okay. So you kind of just go with what the waveform is, and if you get it to the right shape, you can actually hack things. And you'll be able to do that with uh, turrets, obviously, doors as well. The aliens are finished. You should know that by now. They're watching us. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Come on, cycle, let's Get move. This door open. Show me Come your on, face. Just break that shit. You cut me out my fucking soap now. Show me your face. Cycle, let's go. I will find you. I will fucking find you! You're awake when they cut you out, you know. A lot of the lads died screaming. Their hearts gave up from the shock. I love the awesome freaking cell texture you can see on this gun. They had a similar thing with the scar in the tutorial at the beginning of the game, which I okay. skipped for this. But. I'll give you cover. Let's link up on the far side. All right. Oh, this looks so freaking awesome. So this is the nano dome, I think, which is essentially this massive dome. I think it's over New York. 
And, uh... Dude, it looks freaking awesome. Kind of reminds me of something like out of Halo, like the actual, like a Halo ring or something. Alright. Let's try and do the stealth again. Oh, nope. Alright, we're gonna go full throttle. I want the, uh... Ooh, I actually want this. Scar. Yes. This gun's so awesome. So I was I was kind of curious if this was going to be in Crisis 3 because it wasn't in the beta of the multiplayer, but I just kind of assumed it would be in the old game. It's a, a returning gun from Crisis 3. Most of these guns are returning guns from Crisis 2. Is that a turret? What the heck is that? Can I hack it? Oh, it's a helicopter. It looks really small for some reason. Alright, we're gonna have to figure out a way to get a rocket launcher or something. Oh, I might be able to hit it with a bow. Let's try, uh... Let me try throwing on the normal weight and the th thermite? Yeah, yeah. The thermite tip. Let's see how this works. There we go. Sweet. Let's see what attachments I've got here. Silencer again. Just have that on there. I don't know. I don't know if there's any disadvantage of using that, but Thing. Yeah, this is kind of kind of a cool new addition just to a, I don't know, a little mini game throughout the, the campaign. Hold on. Be there in a second. Warning. Bollocks. Warning. Take a breath. You sure you can handle this from your side? Piss off. I don't need a fucking dive suit. The K Volt. Okay, this is another returning Crisis 2 weapon that I, I wasn't positive was going to be in the game. So, essentially, this is it's it's kind of similar to. That's weird. I changed the iron sets around. Um, it's kind of similar to like a vector. Um, just the way it looks and the shape of it. Although it's kind of been changed a bit, but it shoots these like electric pulses, which are really. Uh, good if you're shooting a, a guy with a nano suit. Um, I'm gonna stick with the with the uh, the scar here just because I, I freaking love this thing. All right. Push forward and we'll link up further down. Okay. Roger that. Moving out. Yeah. So here, this is the visor. If you just uh, keep your mouse or your uh, little cursor over different things, you can actually spot stuff like enemies. Um, that way you can kind of know where all the enemies are. It's actually a really useful tool. It kind of allows you to be a little more tactical instead of just uh, running into a situation without really knowing what's going on. This guy's got like hazmat suits. Oh, 
And I just noticed something that's really important. Um, and I don't know if it's the same way in the single or in the multiplayer, but if you jump, you know, if you do a power jump, you can't look down your so sights while you're in the air. If you do this type of jump, you can. But if I do a power jump, you cannot look down your sights. And that was a, and I'm hoping that's that's the same thing on the multiplayer side of things. That was a huge issue for me is the people that were just bunny hopping around, um, because you can look down your sights while you're in the air, and you kind of had this bunny hopping. Bumper jumper halo effect. It was really frustrating in the multiplayer. I'm not confirming that that's fixed. It just seems like it is at least for the single player. So I'm hoping that carries over to the, the multiplayer as well. I need support. I'm all alone here. <laughs> I need support. <laughs> all right. Waypoints over here. That's sweet. Yeah. Copy that. Oh. Just the little animations are just so well done. Foxtrot two. melee this guy. So that melee is the, it works in the the, uh, the multiplayer as well, it's kind of how you do stealth kills or takedowns. Okay, so we got some ammo over here I'll go grab. See, I wouldn't have known this was here unless I would have spotted it. Um, the visor. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Whoa! I'm gonna go ahead and use the visor here again. Just kind of spot stuff, especially enemies. I think enemies are the most important thing here. And you get that little yellow and red indicator. Actually, the 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 color is their status of um, awareness. So if you have a a uh, like a yellow one like this, he's more aware than a guy that's white. And I think a red would probably be the more, most aware. Let's go ahead and grab some more grenades here. So it seems like if you're shooting, your your energy drains faster. Which would make sense. Oh, that guy's got a cable. You can see it drains my energy like crazy. It's not the most accurate gun. Seems it's like a submachine gun type of type of weapon, but okay. I remember in Crisis 2 in the in the multiplayer that thing was friggin' awesome. And it was really good at hip fire. So freaking beautiful. I don't think I'm getting like a radiation sound. I get close to those. Okay, here's the scarab. There's another I'll try and show you guys all the weapons as I go, so. Um You guys might have seen this one before. This one's been in the in Crisis 2, it was in the it was in the Crisis 3 beta. Another very similar assault rifle to the SCAR. I'm gonna stick with the SCAR, I just think this thing is even more badass. What else we got? The uh, Marshall pump action shotgun. Looks like we can throw a silencer on there as well, which is freaking awesome. Silenced shotguns are the shit. Very cool. Let's go back to the scar again. Almost there. All right, let's go over here. I think the most impressive part about the graphics is just the uh, the lighting. Everything is just so dynamic, all the shadows and the... Just everything. Alright. Checkpoint reached. Alright, here we got a turret. Let's see if I can hack this thing. 
heads up. Cell setting up turret positions. Encryption level medium. Wish I could say the same. So I guess the higher the encryption level, the more um, kind of hacking things you have to do. So now that turret is under my control. You can see he's not shooting at me. Um, and if there was any enemies in the area, it would actually start shooting at the enemies, which is really cool. Okay, so you do that for doors as well. It's basically just a timing game. <laughs> 